Neil, where did the basket come? Well, Mr. Martin Hughes Virgin Bird Fair. <laughs> <laughs> you, you certainly failed on the original programme and you've, you've lived up to our expectations and uh, Marsh Tip was 51st on the list. 51st! Oh. <laughs> Lean stage. Unlucky. <laughs> Yeah. No, just come back for a minute. Humiliation. We haven't got rid of you yet. Humiliation. Humiliation. Further humiliation. No, just stay there at your podium. Right, Neil, this, this is the end of the first round. So, Neil, can you just talk us through the um, uh, the scores, please? Yeah, well, here's the lowest scores. Grey Wagtail 2, Common Gull 4. Now, bear in mind, you're not supposed to count birds that land in your garden. So, Common Gull seems a strange one there, but it's on there. Moorhen, 5. Ringneck parakeet, six. Mallard, six. Lesser spotted woodpecker. Yeah. Lesser spotted woodpecker, that's astonishing. I haven't seen one for years. Yeah. Let alone in my garden. So they're, still out, they're still out there somewhere. All right, and the highest scores? Highest scores. Well, you did well to avoid the blackbird, 95 out of 100 people. So blackbird, 93 blue. So what about the other five people? I, I Have they could, never seen a blackbird in their garden? I couldn't possibly comment, but we did. We did have ah. answers like zebra finch. Um, <laughs> zebra finch. So okay. great tit, uh, house sparrow, and wood pigeon all scored highly. There were no pointless answers. No pointless. Answers. In fact, the, oh, yeah. the the RSPB produced a list of 73 species, and all but three of those species uh, were mentioned. So uh, that was, I'm trying to think what they were, that was uh, Great Black Back Gull, Black Red Star and Lapwing were the only three out of the 73 that weren't mentioned. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very so much. Well, well done. Apart from All right, thank you very much. So I'm afraid we're kind of saying goodbye to you today with Andy and, Mark, uh, and Martin. Thank you very much for playing. Thank you. Big round of applause for them. Okay, so let's move on to round two for the three remaining pairs. It, uh, obviously, it should be obvious to everyone, of course, at the end of round two, we'll have, have to say goodbye to another pair. Stephen and uh, Ollie have survived the round by the skin of their teeth. But otherwise, um, Mike and Amelia did very well. Uh, the scores have gone already. So. Mike Dilger. <laughs> yes, Still in. Still in. It's amazing, isn't it? And you were hoping to go to the bar. Down for Amelia, not tonight. <laughs> yes, well, that, that All right. was without saying. But anyway, very best of luck to you in for round two. Our category in round two is called Going for a Song. So please decide which one of you, uh, of the pairs, is going to go first in round two and come up to the podium, to the microphone. Are we, which way are we starting? I'm starting this end or starting that? Because you are not starting. You're not starting. No, do you choose which, who, which one of the pairs wants to go first? The lowest scorer, the lowest scoring pair goes first. All right, who's that? Well, they've taken the scores away, so I don't remember. <laughs> it, it was Nick and Chris. Nick and Chris. Nick and Chris. Okay, all right. Nick and Chris, so you're going to go first. So which, which, which are you, are you going to go first, Nick? <laughs> right. I'm not sure now. You have to. You have to decide who's going first yes, no, before I, I show I'm, you the question. I'm going to buy the bullet. I've done so. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. We're going to put up on the screen now six clues to groups or songs with a wildlife <coughs> theme. So, here they are. All right. And I'll read through these. So this band had a UK hit in 2011 with L I E F E G O E. Or well, life goes on, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of it. No, all of you. This is for the first. The first one of your. So, the second one is instrumental number one hit for Fleetwood Mac in 1968. The third one, stage name of Joel Thomas Zimmerman, a Canadian progressive house music artist who had a UK hit with I Remember in 2009. Fourth one is rapper whose real name is Sean Corey Carter, married to Beyonce. 
No conferring. No conferring. No conferring here, please. No conferring on this one. The, rules. the fifth one. <laughs> Release the album London Zero Hull Four in 1986, and the fifth one is Buddy Holly's backing band. To save time, I won't read through those all again. You can see them on the board. But uh, which? Can you name any of those? You need to think of the one which the least number of our volunteer, uh, volunteers... Coming from a musician, of course. Sorry? Coming from an alleged musician, so we should be really good at this round. No, no, I'm a musician. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know any of them, Nick? I know two, but they're the obvious ones. Well, you score terribly highly. Well, you'll have to choose one of pick those one, or, uh, or take a punt. Just pick one. How old were the people asked? <laughs> <laughs> That's very important. Do you, do you want all hundred? The ages of all hundred? Yeah, please. Oh, okay. No, um, a, a wide range of ages. Wide range of ages. Well, at the birth fair. No, before the birth fair. So, uh, it doesn't matter. Just <laughs> <laughs> cho choose one. Um. Oh. Um. There's, oh God. Well, uh, I'm actually do three. I can do three. Um, okay. Oh gosh. Just do one. Just do one. Uh, I'm going to go for the. Uh, I'll go for the, uh, the uh, Sean Corey Carter one. The Sean Corey Carter, rapper whose real name is Sean Corey Carter, and that is. That's Jay Z. Jay Z. That's Nick's answer. Let's see if that's right. It is right. Well done. Sixty-eight. Not too good. Not too good. Right, that's it. Okay, Mike. Yes, Nigel. I knew two. I now know just one. The only other one I know is um, release the album London Nil Hall 4, 1986. Is uh, the House Martins. Oh, yeah. Which one, sorry? The House Martins. The House Martins. London, uh, London. Oh, okay. Let's see if that's right. Good. Mike says that the House Martins. It is right. Well done, Mike. And it's going down. It's gone down beyond 68, 34. All right. Well done. Thank you. All right, Stephen, talk us through the rest of the board. How many of those do you know? I know two others. Two others, right. And I'm going to go for instrumental number one here, complete with Matt, Albatross. That was the only one I knew. Albatross. All right, let's see if that's right. It is, of course, right. 61. Oh, not bad, not bad. All right, so we're halfway through that round now. This is there's your man. He set the questions. The naturalist. Wait, wait till you see. All right, let's see how difficult it is. So we're halfway through the round now. Can you now the other partners step up to the podium? Or shall we give the answers to these? Let's let's go for the. Uh, we're staying on the same theme. So here. No, 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 no. You've got. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I missed a bit. So these are the answers to the first half of the round. No, we're not. No, this is the answer to the first Steven, round. The Neil. There's another board coming up. Quick, quick, yes, 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 yes. Quickly. Zara on the rail, 71. Albatross, 61. Uh, Dead Mouse is 13. 13 people knew Dead Mouse. Uh, Jay Z, or as Nigel said, Jay Z. Um, the House Martins, well done, uh, Mr. Dilger, 34. And um, Buddy Holly and the Crickets, 51. A surprisingly low number there. Great. All right. Thank you very much. That, that. So here's Dead Mouse. Oh, that's Dead Mouse. Thank you. All right. We've, we've done that. So here we are. Here's the second set of questions for round two. This single by Focus reached number four in the UK in 1973. Duran Duran were hungry like this animal in 1982. Sheffield Rock Band, whose drummer Rick Allen lost his arm in a car crash but learned to play again to continue in the band. American band who had a, number, a UK number seven hit with Guantanamera and a number four hit for the Goodies in 1975. I think I know that one. Uh, Vaughan Williams' 1914 classical piece inspired by a George Meredith poem. So, challenging ones there. Do I see Mr. Dilger conferring? <laughs> no conferring. Okay, okay. Yes. all right. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia, Amelia, yeah. do you know any of these? Uh, yeah. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Yes, please. Can um, you can you can you give me a? a... <laughs> I'm going to go for the second one, which is hungry like the wolves. 
The second one, hungry like the wolves. Let's see if that's right. It is right. Well done. Oh, 76. 76 for Amelia, thank you very much. Ollie. <laughs> oh, this could be fun. Oh dear, 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 dear. We're into making up a name territory. This is excellent. Think of an animal. You don't know any of them at all. No. <laughs> you'll, have, that one. you'll have to take a guess. I will. I'm going to go for uh, any answer. You don't. You can't even think of the goodies, no. Mm, you're too young. Uh, do you think he was born? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for any, any answer with Zebra. <laughs> any answer with Zebra? Yeah. All right, let's... Which, which one would you like? Which oh, question would you like? Oh, uh, the third one. Okay, yeah. Third one. All right, let's see if that's right. It's not. Oh, Holly. Oh, that's... Stand up. That's a real shock. <laughs> oh, well, so bad luck, Holly. It's 100 points. It takes your total to 161. So Chris, you need to oh, there's two that you need to get about 93 in order to anything under that and you'll there's be safe. Two that I'm going to go. I'm going to play it safe. Let's having having okay. seen the Sheffield rock band live, so I'm going to go for Death Jaguar. Death Leopard. Didn't hear it. I didn't get it last. Death Leopard. So you're going to go for Sheffield Ryan, right. Death Leopard. Death let's Leopard. let's see if that's right. It is right. Oh. 85. Oh. It's it's a high score, but it takes you safely through to the second round. So well done, Chris. Uh, so I'm just going to ask Nigel one because this is this is his genre, the top one. Do you know the single by Focus? The Focus, single yeah. by Focus, single by Focus. Stephen knows it, Stephen. No? This was put in specially for yours, John. Oh, was it? Go on, Stephen. Go I on, remember Stephen. Focus. Yeah? Yes, I've got an yeah. album with it. Stephen knows, go on. No. Sylvia. 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 Oh, Sylvia Warbler. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, well. <laughs> no, thank you, Neil. This <laughs> is a special bonus round. Twelve! Yeah, you would have got twelve. <laughs> you would have got twelve. <laughs> Excellent. So, talk us through the. Answer. Yeah. So we've had uh, Def Leppard a massive 85, uh, Sun Pipers 15, Funky Gibbon 57, Good Old Bill, and uh, the Lark Assembly 59. Uh, it's quite funny because the youngsters who did the hundred questions were complaining that it was too old, and the elder generation were complaining that it was too young. Uh, and just as Stephen Marsh was you, complaining, it's too young. You can never. So guess what everybody. category he's in. Just right for me. <laughs> you can never please everybody. All right, so at the end of round two, let's look at the answers. So we got uh, Mike and Amelia on 110. Whoa. Nick and Chris on 153. And Stephen and Ollie on 161. So I'm afraid by saying goodbye to Stephen and Ollie. Thank you very much. Thanks very well.